16, AC circuits, part 5, AC in an inductor. Inductors always oppose a change in current. In AC circuit, like this one here, where the current is always changing due to the AC supply, there will always be an induced inductor voltage, VL, across the inductor acting against the changing current. The inductor voltage is proportional to the current. The bigger the current, the bigger the inductor voltage. So the equation is inductor voltage equal to current times this reactance of the inductor. The unit of reactance of the inductor is ohms, same unit as that of resistance capacitive reactance and impedance. Reactance of an inductor factors affecting reactance. Firstly, it is proportional to the inductance of an inductor. Secondly, the reactance is also proportional to the frequency of the AC supply. And the inductive reactance or reactance of the inductor is given by this formula or that one. Since 2 pi f is equal to omega. Phase relationship between inductor voltage and resistor voltage in a LR circuit. There is a phase difference between the inductor voltage and the resistor voltage. The two voltages are out of phase by a quarter of a cycle. In other words, the phase difference between them is quarter of a period. And see the graph on the next slide. From the graph we can see that the inductor voltage is leading the resistor voltage by a quarter of a cycle. And in terms of phases, the supply voltage is equal to inductor voltage plus resistor voltage. Here we have current phase rate gain, horizontal. And in phase with it, the resistor voltage. And this inductor voltage is leading these two phases by a quarter of a cycle. And here it says the resistor voltage plus the inductor voltage gives the supply voltage. Impedance Z of a resistor inductor circuit. The impedance is a combination of the reactance of the inductor and the resistance of the resistor. So the resistance plus the reactance gives the impedance of the circuit. And because it's a triangle triangle, so this is like Pythagoras. Work through this example carefully yourself.